This is how the fish poop fertilisation system works to remove the need for expensive liquid fertilisers in a low-tech planted tank. When fish eat a healthy nutrient-rich diet, their waste contains nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and countless trace elements which are essential for our plants. Most of the ammonia is actually excreted through the gills of our fish as liquid waste but both liquid and solid waste products work together for this fertilisation system. The problem is that different fish food products have very different ingredients lists resulting in different qualities of waste. Personally I look for options with named ingredients rather than chemical codes or fillers with fluval bug bites and Hikari micro pellets being my go-to options for this method of fertilisation. Now the digestibility of minerals does come into play as the fish can absorb a lot of the nutrients from the food but any excess nutrients are excreted into the tank via solid or liquid waste. You can also feed your shrimp and snails potassium rich foods like spinach, dandelion, mulberry and oak leaves but be sure to blanch them before use to reduce the risk of oxalic acid. Microorganisms in the tank also play a huge role in this because they break down the waste and release the water soluble nutrients into the water column making them absorbable by your plants via their leaves and stems. The non-water soluble nutrients does usually settle at the bottom of the tank as mulm and eventually finds its way to your plant roots to provide nutrients that way. So with this system stop constantly gravel vacuuming your tank substrate because you're removing all of the organic matter that is essentially free fertilizer for your plants.